Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back, Force here, and today we're going to be taking a close look at the new PvP added to Destiny called Trials of the Nine. I put together a fire team this afternoon of some good buddies, and we went 7-0. and zero. We got a flawless victory, and I want to show you everything we know and we've found out about Trials of the Nine, as well as the rewards that you get for having a perfect seven straight wins. So Trials of the Nine is, again, the new PvP competitive mode in Destiny 2. Uh, it's got an option of 10 total games for you to play, but if you get seven straight wins and get that flawless victory, that is going to maximize your rewards. Now, since we didn't lose any games, I, I don't know exactly what happens, but I was informed that any losses essentially deactivate a platform in the reward section called the Third Spire, which we'll be getting to a little bit later. But first, let's talk about the mode itself. It's on a brand new map called the Eternity Unknown Space. It is a countdown game mode, which is the planting or defending of charges, and there are two separate points. Now, the first team to get six rounds one will win an entire match. Now, what's, what's actually really neat is that there's a little intro as well for both teams, showing the players' weapons and exotic gear that they have, as well as their spec before you start the match. It gives you a good idea of what you're coming up against for the opposing team. Loadouts are also locked at the start of the match, which means no swapping weapons in between rounds. You are set to the loadout that you load in with. And then also worth noting is that power levels are disabled, which means, of course, there is no gear advantage. No one who's been raiding and has already busted 300 power level is going to have a huge advantage over you. Powers are uh, flatlined just like the rest of PvP. So let's talk about the rewards. The end of round prize for winning a game was four trials tokens, which are a new reputation token for a new reputation vendor, as well as 1200 glimmer. The, the, the drops after the, the wins of each matches are kind of just like anything else. You could get an exotic, you might get some blues, you might get some purples. And it is worth noting as well that there are challenges in Trials of the Nine. Every time you complete one of the challenges, you'll be granted with seven trials tokens and 5,000 Glimmer, but those rewards aren't the only thing, because along this process, you are also unlocking rewards from the new, uh, it's not really a social hub, but the reward hub called the Third Spire. So after three wins, we unlocked a new milestone where we went into the third spire, went up a gravity lift to the first platform, speaking to the emissary who granted us powerful gear via a trials engram. After five wins, we went up to a second grav lift, speaking to the emissary again, who gave us another trials engram with powerful gear. And after seven wins, we got to choose from one of three weapons. There was the prosecutor auto rifle, the swift verdict sidearm, and the long walk sniper. Now I'm not sure if these three specific rewards will change every week with trials, but that's what they are at the moment. Each of them seemed like interesting weapons, and I was really starting to lean towards the sniper, but I ended up going with the, the auto rifle in the secondary spot. It's also worth noting that all of these weapons have the PvP perk, where the sliding partially reloads the weapon, as well as temporarily boost handling and stability. Now, since we got the flawless victory of seven straight wins, we also got a little bit extra, but it's hard for me to discern what portion of this is extra and what is just coming from seven wins. Maybe you'll still get get some or all of these high rewards if you go 7 and 3, but we went 7 and 0, oh, and this is just what I happen to see. After picking my one of those three weapons, there was then a purple vortex which I could jump into, and again, this is what I believe is special to those who go 7 and 0. Oh. This brought us to the celestial realm with a giant floating emissary off in the distance. Now, speaking to him gave me the option to choose between two high power level pieces of gear. It also rewarded me with the You Are Worthy emblem. This showcases the number of flawless victories you have achieved, as well as the Ninth Aura, which is a glowing effect for your guardian that displays your victory in the trials. Now, that whole section, again, I believe, is is what is specific to flawless victories. Maybe I'll find out next week though if I don't happen to go 7-0. and And that is pretty much gonna do it guys. Just a quick recap of the new Trials of the Nine PvP competitive mode in Destiny 2. Uh, it was a ton of fun. I had
had a great time. Honestly, surprised we went 7-0, but we had some really good games. It was a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll be covering some more Destiny 2 in the future, as it is a game that I've been playing a crap ton of. So, might as well make videos about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a good one, and until next time, I'll see you later.